Hello everyone, welcome aboard Submarine Bakuna here at Independent Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. My name is Greg, and today we'll be continuing our tour through the boat by exploring the engine rooms and maneuvering room as we discuss the submarine's propulsion system. Bakuna uses a diesel electric drive. The primary power source for this drive is four General Motors Model 16-278A main diesel engines. These engines have 16 cylinders arranged in two banks of eight that are angled so that together they form a V-shape. Each engine is capable of producing 1600 horsepower, and each engine is connected to a direct current electric generator. These generators provide 1110 kilowatts or 415 volts at about 750 RPM. These are spread out across two engine rooms with two engines and two generators in each compartment. The power coming off the generators is what drives Bakuna's two main propulsion motors. These motors are located in the motor room below the electrical cubicle that serves as main propulsion control in the maneuvering room. They are 2700 horsepower double armature motors that are connected directly to Bakuna's propeller shafts, one to the port shaft and one to the starboard shaft. These motors are capable of operating at speeds that range from 40 RPM to 280 RPM. When she puts to sea, Bakuna usually carries around 57,000 gallons of fuel stored in fuel ballast tanks along the length of her hull. Fuel consumption is dictated largely by how fast the submarine is going and how many engines she has running at one time. Running on one engine, going at around 10 knots, Bakuna gets around 8 miles per gallon. The number jumps to 16 miles per gallon with all four engines running, going at a speed of about 17.4 knots. However, Bakuna can't always rely on her engines to supply power to her motors. The nature of combustion in a diesel engine means that if we were to run them while submerged, they would eventually consume all the breathable air in the boat, leaving the crew to suffocate. The snorkel that was installed in 1951 alleviated this problem a little bit, but the snorkel was still only good down to around periscope depth. Any deeper, and Bakuna would have to rely on the electric charge stored in her batteries to provide power to her main motors. Bakuna is essentially equipped with two giant batteries, one in the forward battery below officer's country and the other in the after battery below crew berthing. These batteries can be connected to the battery bus either individually, in series, or in parallel in order to provide power to the motors. Each battery consists of 126 individual lead acid cells arranged in six four and a half rows of 21 each. Bakuna is equipped with the Sargo II type battery cell. An improvement over the original Sargo I cell, the Sargo II is equal in both size and weight to the Sargo I cell, but possesses thinner lead plates inside, which means that there are more plates per cell. This greatly increases the battery storage capacity over its predecessor. Just like fuel consumption, the rate at which the battery charge is expended is exponential based upon how fast the submarine is traveling. A full charge could be made to last a 48 hour period with the boat traveling at a slow speed of two knots. However, if we were traveling at our max submerged speed of 15 knots, that same full charge could be expended completely in a period of about 30 minutes, forcing Bakuna back to the surface so she could recharge her batteries. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, let us know by liking and sharing it. Then drop down to the comments to leave us suggestions on topics you'd like to see us cover in future videos. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.